The hardened valve seats installed in the 911 cylinder heads are installed at a very large interference fit. Hi and welcome to Classic ATS. During this eight part series we're going to show you how to fully build your 911 air cooled cylinder head. The interference fit is around 0.15 to 0.18 of a millimeter which is considerably higher than say a valve guide. To remove the valve seats, we can't just knock them out. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hardened end mill and I'm going to machine the seat until it will actually pop or shrink and allow it to come out of the cylinder head. So the first thing I've got is I've brought my end mill in and I've set up so the edge of my end mill is about 0.1 of a millimeter off the edge of the aluminum part. What we want to be careful of here is that we don't cut into the aluminum part of the cylinder head with our end mill and we also need to be cautious of our depth. So what I'm going to do first is I've brought my mill in, I've got my side clearance set so I'm just off the edge of the seat. I'm also going to use my DRO so that I can set my depths. I only want to machine a depth of around 7.7 .7 millimeters. Any deeper than that and I run the risk of going through the seat and into the aluminum head. And the pop that you just heard was the valve seat popping, which means it shrunk back in as I hit close to the bottom of the seat. Now the valve seat is popped. I'm going to go ahead and just take a, an ordinary pry bar. And I'm, I want to be careful when I'm doing this. I don't want to damage this sealing surface here. We haven't machined this yet, but any deep gouges that we put in here could create a problem later. So I just want to get that pry bar underneath that seat and I'm going to work it from side to side and slowly bring out that seat insert. So now we've got the valve seat out, what we're going to do is we have to refinish this hole. We can't just press a new seat insert in here because this hole is distorted from years of heat cycling. Plus when the original seat inserts were pressed in, it would have distorted this hole as well. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to install our guide pilot and we want to make sure that it is locked, locked down and nice and tight. Next, I'm going to install a spring and what we are going to use to do this is an actual seat counterbore tool. Now these are a specialized tool that are designed for cutting counterbores, which is this part for where the seat is recessed. Now the cutter width is sized to our oversize and so our seats are going to be matched with about 0.15 interference fit bigger than this is going to cut. So I'm just going to slide that over then the next thing that's going to come on is going to be our pilot. Now this pilot is sized to the top of our valve guide insert. So when this is driving down, this is going to be zeroed and centered on that valve guide which is going to allow us just to go down. We're going to cut it approximately 8 millimeters deep. So I have my valve guide pilot installed. I've got the cutter zeroed on the cylinder head. So now I'm just going to cut this down, the thickness of the new insert. So now we can see we've got a nice clean cut all the way around where the seat insert is going to go. And we can see that I've just 
taken a very light cut on the very bottom face just to clean up any kind of marking. This needs to be a 100% gas tight seal so when the new seat goes in everything's got to be really clean and tight. Now I've got all my valve seat counter bores machined. These are going to go into the oven. These need to be heated to about 200 degrees C and be a constant temperature. We've had our valve seat inserts in the freezer for the last 24 hours. Because it's such a large interference fit, we need to have everything working in our advantage when we go to press these together. So our cylinder heads are now at approximately 200 degrees Celsius. This is all going to happen pretty fast. I've got my valve seats in the freezer and I have the fixture which I'm using, the same fixture that I used on the mill to hold the heads. This is just an old cam box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cylinder head out of the oven. I'm going to install the valve guide punch in the valve guide or this is the alignment spigot. And then this is a special punch that is designed to drive in valve seats. It is designed to locate on the top of the pilot and then this is just a hardened steel piece that matches the size of the seat. So I'm going to work pretty quickly. I've got my insulated gloves on. Just go ahead, pull the seat out, I'll pull the cylinder head out. I'm going to put the pilot into the valve guide, just press it down. When the valve seats go in, they do have a direction. The taper of the seat has to face down. And then I'm just going to use a hammer to drive it in until it seats. and then pull the pilot out. So now we're going to let these cool overnight. They need to return to room temperature. Then the last part of the process is to put the heads back into the oven. We're going to heat them up for two hours at 200 degrees C and just let them bake. Once they come out of the oven for the last time, we'll let them cool back down to room temperature and then just recut the valve seats as we did before.